Leo, hi guys. I'm about to just see what's coming towards y'all for the rest of August. It could possibly go into September because it's the very end of August. So I would say like the next seven days. I'm going to start with an oracle card that I'm going to use this deck to see what's coming towards y'all in love. And of course some other messages might come up that are not related to love. So let's see what comes from this deck for y'all. Leo. Oh. <laughs> you cannot like come on leo the card that comes out is the lion like okay courage so you should be you could be trying to gather up the, the courage to speak to somebody maybe if you haven't spoken to them in a long time or if not that you could be trying to you know get up the courage to do something that you want to do something that you're passionate about all this red something that you're inspired to do or this could be about somebody's energy towards you trying to work up enough nerve to talk to you um let's see can i get 10 cards for leo I guess that's supposed to come out. Eight of Pentacles, so you're working or you're um, focused on making money or get, becoming better at something, some sort of skill, craft, or you could just be busy working. Um, but I feel like a lot of y'all are studying something. It could be like school. Like, if you're in school, or it could just be, like, things you're interested in knowing more about, you're studying. Hold on. I'm a mess. But. I don't know. You could be getting bored with, like, mundane tasks or your regular schedule. Like, you kind of want to shake shit up in your life. Could be getting kind of boring doing this. Things that you do every day. If this is for you. Can I get eight more cards for Leo, please? What's coming towards them in love? And in life in general. Leo. Okay. Door of baskets. The sun of knives. Ten of knives. Four of wands. Ten of coins. Daughter of coins, mother of baskets, and the six of baskets. So, <laughs> at the bottom of the deck, we have the free man, the free woman, whatever. I feel like this is about you pretty much being a free spirit, not really trying to be tied down to a particular person in love. I feel like you're enjoying being single if this is for you. Like, you're not against love, but you're not out here searching for it. So, you could also be taking some sort of risk when it comes to business or, I don't know, in your life. Like, risk taker is coming. So, maybe, risk taker was the word coming to my mind. So, maybe, that's what you're trying to gather the courage to do, take a risk. When it comes to love or something else. But anyway. um, You could have a. A younger person on your mind. Somebody that's younger than you. With the daughter of baskets. But I feel like it's somebody who's very charming. Very sweet. Somebody who who you can't help but smile. When you're around them. Um. They're kind of like um, a laid back person. Could be a water sign or earth sign, but it really could be any sign. So I don't know why I said that. Because every element is here. In the recent past, I feel like this person on your mind, you. Um, this person on your mind or who has you on their mind. There were some harsh words exchanged between you and them in the past. You see how this person is standing outside of the church with a knife looking like he's on some shit waiting for somebody to come out to start some shit so either 
somebody was triggered in the past through communication. Like you made somebody mad enough to say hurtful things or they made you mad enough to say hurtful things or both of y'all. Um, and this person, I feel like also the daughter of um, Cups is here because this person is feeling very emotional when it comes to you. But they try to ignore their feelings or this could be you. If it's not you, it's them. Um, somebody's focusing on work to try to ignore the fact that they don't like being away from you. Because there was definitely an ending with this ten of knives. Um, I feel like after some harsh words were exchanged, there was like a stop in communication or either... The person just stopped talking to you which is rude <laughs> like it's just as rude as saying something fucked up and not talking to you so either way it was like a um abrupt ending between you and a person if this is for you in the near future with this four of wands i feel like somebody is going to be coming towards you or in your life who wants to build with you like, who really wants a relationship? Really wants to um nurture you as much as they want you to nurture them. This is the energy of, like, um, equal give and take as well as, like, um, setting roots down with another person. I feel like this person is is going to make you feel like I don't want to say complete like you wouldn't be complete without them but I feel like this person will make you feel as though they're like the whipped cream on top of your Sunday, or yeah the cherry on top or something because I feel like with the ten of pentacles it could be a person you've known for a long time or somebody who, even when you first met them, y'all had a bond or like a familiar energy between y'all two. Where it's like, it feels like I've known you forever if you haven't known them forever. So, this person is seeing you focus on practical things. Whether that's studying, working, or both. They see you focusing on... Um, the things that you can change by putting your energy into it they don't see you making emotional decisions or impulsive decisions this person sees you being very rational and practical you're hoping for this person to express their emotions towards you but i feel like they're very nervous about what your reaction might be they feel like you're not really worried about them, so they don't know how you would react to them expressing their feelings. But they do have a lot of emotions as it relates to you, and they don't like the fact that there was an ending with the tennis words. I feel like with the six of baskets, I feel like there's going to be a reconciliation between you and this person or somebody's going to attempt to reconcile with you with the six of cups i feel like it's two kids on this card because i feel like it's um just symbolizing the fact that there's a very pure real love between you and this person like I feel like it's something that neither one of you can actually explain with words, but it's a feeling of like familiar energy. Like you've known them in a past life or like they're your soulmates, which I feel like they are with the Six of Cups. Um, I'm going to get one more card just to see if I was right. Please clarify the Six of Cups. 
definitely past energy um the king of swords being here i feel like it could be a libra gemini aquarius or somebody with that in their chart or you could have that in their chart but i feel like with all these clocks being around this person i feel like he's saying When this opportunity does come back around, like, you won't have time to waste. Like, it might be... Something that you're getting the opportunity to make right this time. Or they're getting the opportunity to do the right thing with you during this time. I get one more card, please. like this person also comes off very like distant or the way they talk to you is like they're not emotionally attached to you with this king of swords because that's a very um fact based could come off like cold or stoic sometimes when they communicate but i feel like you know that they're really sweet on you but the way they talk to you is in a way <laughs> where not saying they're rude all the time, but they don't show their emotions and the things that they say. So we have ancestors. This is not a, like a dead baby or anything. It's a happy, smiling baby. It's just have her face. They illustrated the skull. And the name of this card is Ancestors. So it's pretty much trying to show how, you know, you carry the traits of your ancestors with you. Like when you're born, you have some things from your ancestors passed down to you, stuff like that. So that's like the people who passed on still passing things on through babies. Um, so I just had to explain that because some people are real scary, I guess. So with the ancestors being here, I feel like it's saying like this is something or someone you came together with to learn big lessons from or to do big things with. With the ancestors being there, it could also be a Scorpio. One more for Leo. I just feel like for some reason I should keep shuffling. Yep, Eight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, um, Ace of Swords, which is about communication. It could come out of the blue, but maybe you will be expecting it because you're watching this and I'm telling y'all. But either way, this person is going to offer you something, especially with this tree. Like the lightning just hit this tree, which makes me feel like it could be a surprise or why you're doing something totally not thinking about them they're going to communicate with you send a message or a call offering you something or expressing their feelings towards you or saying something to you that makes it clear that they want to do something with you i feel like they're going to be more open and expressive than they were in the past and more expressive than they are now because i don't feel like there's much being said with this tennis words but let me read some of the message for this card carriage for leo mm, open up to it your extreme aversion to something that's plagued you for most of your life is causing you to become irrational and overwhelming and i don't know i don't know that word a overwhelming fear has a significant impact on even the thought of coming face to face with your antagonistic perpetrator. <laughs> this person probably like got on your nerves in the past. Avoidance in an exaggerated, unrealistic sense of danger has led to restrictions and increased your anxiety. Tracking back to the original source of the phobia will help you to understand your triggers. Didn't I say somebody's trying to trigger y'all? 
and intense psychological reactions in order to heal with courage and a little banishment you can find complete peace of mind okay your fears relate to your past life is what it says <laughs> so you probably had past life shit with this person that Which is why they're able to like trigger you so easily in this life and you don't know why. Sometimes it just feels like it's just overwhelming. They're doing too much. They're um, stirring up too much emotion in you. It's because y'all have leftover shit from a past life. Some of y'all, your sensitivity is compromised by another's phobias. Understanding is key to healing. You are safe and protected is the message that comes with this car so leo um hopefully you got something out of this message it's a lot longer than i thought it was gonna be but i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching peace